welcome to Dr. Yang's Live Tape channel. So previously, I have talking about how to get a refund uh, or compensation from a delayed or canceled train. However, still many people have a question about how much compensation uh, you are entitled to. A different company maybe have a different rules. So today I'm going to go to some through with you about some uh, large train operation company uh, about their terminal conditions. So the amount of the compensation that you may be entitled is to depends on the length of the time your journey was delayed. For example, this slide just show you the cross country train uh, company. So basically, if you are delayed, it's between 30 to 59 minutes. You can get 50% cost of your single ticket or 50% of cost of either portion of your written ticket. If you are delayed, it's uh, 60 minutes and more, then you can get 100% of the cost of your single ticket uh, or your proportion of your written ticket. If you are delayed, it's more than two hours. So either both of the onward or written legs of your journey are deleted by more than the two hours, you have the written ticket you will entitled to receive after 100% of the cost of the written ticket. If you're holding a seasonal ticket, in the case of the seasonal ticket, any compensation will be calculated against the proportional daily cost of the price of the ticket. You can click the link and go to that website to find the details. So if you have a smart ticket, then you can include a clear image of the front of your smart car and enter your smart car number in the booking reference ticket number field on the firm. On the bottom is the link of the online application for the cross country. So this slide is just a summarize um, the London North East Railway um, company. So from this company, for the delay between 30 to 59 minutes, you can get 50% cost of the single ticket or the 50% cost of the relevant portion of a written ticket. If the delay is between 60 to 119 minutes, a similar rule apply. You can get 100% uh, of the cost of the single ticket or 100% cost of the relevant portion of a written ticket. If the delay is more than 120 minutes, then you can get 100% of the cost of single ticket or the 100% of cost of written ticket, if both ways, not just one way. For season ticket, if your ticket is a weekly season ticket, the price of the ticket divided by 10. If you got a monthly season ticket, the price of the ticket divided by 40. If an annual season ticket, then the price of the ticket will be divided by 464. On the bottom is the link to their website for online application. For the South East Railway Company, they are slightly different. For example, if they are trying to delay more than 15 minutes, this is different from all the other major train company. So if you delay your train delay is 15 to 25, 29 minutes, so you can get 25% of cost of your single ticket or 12.5% of the cost of your return ticket. So this is very interesting. But the next one is the delay of 30 to 59%. So similar to other company, but different you only can get 50% of the cost of a single ticket, but 25% of the cost of your return ticket. If the delay is uh, between one hour, one hour, 59 minutes, so you can get 100% uh, of cost of your single ticket or 50% of cost of your return ticket. If the delay is more than two hours, you can get 100 cost of your single ticket and 100 of the cost of your return ticket too. Found. 
For seasonal ticket, again, for weekly seasonal ticket, the price of the ticket divided by 10. For monthly seasonal ticket, the price of the ticket divided by 40. For quarterly seasonal ticket, the price of the ticket divided by 120. For the annual season ticket, the price of the ticket divided by 464. Please note the length of the delayed for single or written journey rate will apply. So they may be slightly different. So again, the bottom is the link to their internet online application page. So this slide shows you the trans panning express train company their rules term conditions if you are delayed is 30 to 59 minutes you can claim 50 percent compensation of your single ticket or 50 percent of the relevant delayed portion of your written ticket if the delay of your train is between 60 to 119 minutes you can claim 100 percent compensation of your single ticket or 100% of the cost of the relevant portion of your written ticket. If your delays is more than 120 minutes, then you can claim 100% of compensation of the cost for your single ticket or 100% cost of your written ticket. Include both portions, not just one way. So for season ticket, this company gives you a very breakdown details about what you are entitled to for different type of cap and different delayed period. For example, if your train is delayed between 30 to 59 minutes, for weekly ticket, your, the price you can get a refund is the price of your ticket divided by 20. Monthly senior ticket will be divided by 80. Quarterly ticket will be divided by 240 and the annual ticket will be divided by 9 to 8. But if you are trying to delay between 60 to 119 minutes, then the one weekly season ticket will be the price of your ticket divided by 10, and the monthly ticket will be divided by 40. Uh, quarterly um, season ticket will be divided by 120, and annual mm. season ticket will be divided 464. If your delay is uh, more than 120 minutes, then weekly ticket you can get uh, the price of your ticket and uh, divided by 5. Monthly um, senior ticket will be divided by 20. Quarterly senior ticket will be divided by 60. And annual senior ticket will be divided by 232. So this is very clear of what you, you are entitled to to get the claim for. On the bottom, you can get the online application form. So for Virgin Train, which is a slight simple, and if your train is delayed for 30 to 59 minutes, you can get 50% of the cost of your single ticket or 25% of the cost of at a portion of your written ticket. So delayed of 60 to 190 minutes, you can get 100% of the cost of your single ticket or 50% of your cost of the added portion of your written ticket. If your delay is more than two hours, then you can claim 100% of the cost of your single or written ticket. For seasonal ticket, if you are a seasonal ticket holder, you will be refunded the proportionate cost of the price of the ticket this is calculated based on the following assumed number of the single journeys for the relevant season ticket. For any season ticket, we will divide by 464 single journey. For quarterly season ticket, we will be divided by 120 single journeys. And monthly season ticket will be divided by 40 single journey. And weekly season ticket will be divided by 10 single journey. You can find more details on the link at the bottom of these slides. So, as I mentioned before, and uh, how to get your money back, and normally you need to write to the relevant train company within 28 days of the completing the relevant journey, unless it informs otherwise by the relevant train company. Please note, you need to make sure you retain your ticket when you get out of the train station. 
um, you also need to provide in the letter or email to state the timetabled departure time of your train or the trains you intend to use for your journey. And you also need to provide a ticket or other authority to travel which was valid for that journey. If you do not have enough evidence, you don't want to waste of your time to apply for because they will not give you anything. So how your compensation will be paid? Normally they can pay you by check or by bank transfer or by means of a refund to your debit credit card or even they can offer you to pay you by the amount in a real travel voucher. So you need to tell them what you want. So when you file the online application, be careful. They normally will send you an email or text message to ask you confirm the method you want to use for the payment. If you do not reply to them, they may not pay you. So be careful. Uh, once you apply for the compensation refund, you need to check your email or your text message regularly. Make sure you do requ you reply to their request within the time sense. So here you can find more link from the different major train companies. For some other train companies, you can always search the train company's website to find the more. But in general, the rules are very similar. However, each individual company maybe have different rules and